Hey, this is Matt. Welcome to the whiteboard. In this video, we will be visualizing a binary search tree. Suppose you made a game called Click the Kitten, where players earned a point each time they click the kitten. And it's one long game that never ends, so players accumulate points and constantly compete to be the top clicker. So how are you going to keep all these clickers in order? If you use quicksort, will you use it every time a new player takes the lead, or every time a player deletes their account, or every time a player creates an account? Running quicksort at O n times log n for every change to a big, constantly changing list just isn't practical. So what can we do? Let's convert an array of clickers into a binary search tree. The key for the tree will be the clicker scores. To make the tree, pop off the last item and place it on the top of the tree. So where does the second item go? Why there? Because 3 is less than 6 and less goes left. Conversely, more goes right. The same logic applies to every insertion. 7 is more than 6 so it goes to the right of 6. And it is less than 8, so it goes to the left of 8. Let's keep going. 1 is less than 6, so it goes left. 1 is also less than and left of 3. Can you see where this is going? Where will the 4 end up? Where will the 9 end up? So how would you search in this binary search tree? Suppose you're trying to find a user with four clicks. Search is nearly identical to insertion. The difference is, first you ask, is this it? If it is, return it. If it isn't, is it less or more? Less. Is this it? No. Less or more? More. Is this it? Yes, we have a match. You might be wondering, what if the original array had the same numbers in a different order? Would search still work? What if these numbers came in this order? Here is the tree. And here is the search. Still works. The only difference is, when you compare trees, you see that getting to 4 in the second tree will take one more step than it does in the first tree. Search trees are best when they're balanced like a Christmas tree. So suppose Click the Kitten is going gangbusters. Then players start getting bored just clicking kittens. And they start deleting their accounts. How should we handle this? If the user has no children to the left or the right, it's easy. Just delete the user item. If the item has just one child to the left or the right, it's a little more complicated. You delete the item, then move the child item into its position. It only gets complicated when the deleted item has both right and left children. As before, we remove the item, but then what? If you move the eight into the top position, 7 would be to the right of 8, which would violate the left is for less, right is more structure of the binary search tree. The tree will only be valid if 7 replaces the deleted item, because 7 is the smallest of the greater numbers. How can we always get the smallest? To make the solution clear, let's add an item here. To find the smallest number in this subtree, start at the top, then go left because the smaller numbers are to the left. Then keep going left until you can't go anymore. Now you're at the smallest. This will always be the case. Left, 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 left is the minimum. You can find the minimum of the whole tree this way, too. 
Likewise, you can find the maximum by going right, 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 until there is no greater item. So now you can delete people from your game. Great, but you want to keep them playing too. And you notice that the number one feature request is a leaderboard like this. So you need to be able to sort your users by their scores. A binary search tree is not an array, but there is an order there. If you look at the tree from left to right, its items are sorted. This is a property of any binary search tree. You can see it here, too. So how can we get our items in this order? You can pull a sorted array out of a binary search tree with a surprisingly simple three-step procedure. On every item of the tree, first recursively do the same procedure on the left child. Then, when that call is done, push the item into an array. Lastly, call the procedure recursively on the right child. Here's how this algorithm works on a tree. Start with the top node. First step, call the procedure on the left child. And now three will select its left child. One, which has no left child. So the procedure pushes one into the array for the second step. One also has no right child. So the third step for one is done. And so is the first step of three. So now, 3 gets pushed, and the procedure is called on the right child of 3, 4. No left child. 4 is pushed. No right child. Now that 4 is done, 3 is done, too, as is the first step of 6. OK, push 6. Then call the procedure on 6's right child. 8, which calls the procedure on its left child, 7, which has no left child, push 7, no right child, 7 is done, and so is the first step of 8. So push 8, then call the procedure on 8's right child, 9, no left child, push 9, Done with 9, done with 8, done with 6. Done, done, done. And now we have a sorted array that we can use to create a leaderboard. So everyone knows exactly where they stand and justice is done. Or rather, since we're using a left to right binary search tree, justice is done like this.